so I'm back with another Easter craft today and today I'm going to show you how you can make water paintings so for this one you don't need any art equipment except from a piece of paper some scissors and a pencil that's all the art equipment you will need but you will also need a wet paper towel or a flannel or something that you can get wet so what you're going to do first is you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to draw the outline of something eastery on it or it doesn't have to be eastery if you don't want to make it eastery but I'm going to draw the outline of a bunny I don't need to worry about the details inside my bunny I'm just going to draw around the outside so I've got the outside outline of my bunny and then I'm going to cut it out so there you go I've just drawn the basic outline of the bunny and now I'm going to cut it out so once you've cut your shape out, you're going to put it on a flat surface outside. I put mine on the pavement. Pavement is best. This won't work on grass because you need to be able to see the water changing the colour of the surface you are on. So a lighter surface works better. Then you're going to get your flannel or whatever you have used to get wet. And you are going to make sure it's nice and wet. And you're going to go around the edges without moving your picture. You're going to go around all the edge of your bunny. Now, you need to make sure it stays in the same place. So I'm going to go and do this with two hands and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I've gone around all the edges with the water, making sure that I've wetted all the way around the edge of my shape. And now I'm going to peel my shape away. Ta-da! There's a bunny. Oh, I went a little bit too much water up here and it seeped into each other. But apart from that, there is a bunny. So that is how you can paint without painting and using water. What you could do now is you could get your stencil and you could put water inside your stencil and make the shadow opposite. So if I now put water in here, but I'm gonna need two hands so I'll be back. There you are, I'm back. So this time I put water on the inside of my stencil and I'm gonna peel it away. Ta -da! I've got an opposite bunny. So now I've got a bunny using the stencil. Now I've got a bunny using my outline. So now you can see why you didn't need to draw details on your stencil or on your picture because you're just using it as a stencil. So you could use all sorts of that. You could use things you find. You could make things. You could do pictures of different things. Whatever you like to make with that. You could even write words with it. Have fun. Have some experiments, see what it looks like on different surfaces and create some Easter water art. Have fun, see you soon, bye!